Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we are taking a look at 1 and 2, your first and second place participants at uh, this past weekend's Europa Pro, Europa Spain. For the men's classic physique division, your winner was Fabian Mayer, I believe his name is pronounced, his last name, and uh, Raymond Dino, Raymond Dino is how he, uh, he that, that's his handle on his Instagram. And on the NPC News Online, they call him Raymond, without the D, Raymond Rocha Querios. So, hard to say what his exact name is. What a fantastic physique, though. Now, the first couple of shots that I seen with these two dudes on Instagram, I thought to myself, this Raymond guy, this Raymond Dino, he should have won. He should have won, right? Well... Let's go through the poses, because as always, you can never judge a bodybuilding competition with just one, you know, one pose. But of course, judging by this one, upper body wise, I would say Raymond is 10 times better. He's holding his posture better. It's a nicer looking vacuum. It's so symmetrical. I mean, this guy is classic. Now that reeks of classic. Now... When you actually can see close up, and you could see this more from the video footage, the difference between the conditioning of the lags was night and day. That's right, guys. Fabian Mayer, he was twice as peeled in the uh, quads. It just looked so much better, so much more dominant, in particular in the video footage. Go through the poses, and it's the same thing in the front lat spread. I much prefer Raymond in this one. Raymond Dino or Raymond Dino or Raymond Querios. <laughs> apologize, but still, I don't apologize for saying that he should win this matchup, upper body wise, that is. And again, look at the legs, look at the muscle separation. It's a superior set of wheels on Fabian. But think, this is the classic physique division. Should they not be paying attention to the the classical lines, the presentation a little bit better, more than the a little bit of a conditioning edge. Well, hard to say. That is a tiny little wee waistline, though, for uh, Fabian. Turn to the side. And this is a little bit of a roll reversal here. It's a more pronounced upper body for Fabian. Just a much better uh, strike of the pose, in my opinion, that is. But now, the muscle separation for Raymond is probably superior, which is a funny thing, because from the front, I feel like it was better for uh, for Fabian. Anyway, two fantastic athletes for sure, guys, side tricep. And it just seems that, like I was saying, you can't judge a bodybuilding competition with one shot. From the front, it looked like Raymond had the much superior lines, classical lines, shape, everything. But from the side... It looks like uh, Fabian, he has that classical look, much more bigger, bigger, thicker chest. And let's face it, when it comes to the classical look, you want a big chest, right? You want a big chest. Taking nothing away from the, you know, the pecs on, on Raymond and that midsection, he's hitting a hoo-ha pose. So you're not really going to score any points with me for hitting a hoo-ha, even though I like the hoo-ha. It should be separate from the side tricep. But some guys use it for that. I don't know. Have a look at the back shot. And this is classic. And for some reason, they don't hit the rear lat spread in the comparisons. Fabian was hitting it. It was a good, decent rear lat spread. But Raymond was not. And they didn't hit it in the in the lineups when they did the comparison judging. I would say that Raymond has a better back development. He's in quite a bit better condition, first of all. Neither guy, of course, is an open class, so you're not going to see the big giant wheels, the massive tree trunks for lags that they have in the open class. But, you know, streamline, good. Yeah, I, I hey, I prefer uh, Raymond in this one. Fabian reminds me of a young Phil Heath. Have you guys ever seen Phil Heath snap the rear double by in his earlier years? Looks just like Fabian here. Anyway, I would give a definite edge. So if they're arguing... Uh, conditioning of the wheels from the front you should give it to uh, Fabian on that edge well it looks like that in the glutes from the rear and the back development 
Looks like Raymond is harder, grainier, and better conditioned. Go to the abs and thigh. And unfortunately, there was not a close-up shot of Raymond hitting this one. And it's a shame, because he has one fantastic abs and thigh shot. Now, this is from the lineup, guys. This is from the lineup. And it was after the individual. They were working them. They were working them. And you know what happens. The conditioning, the endurance... The endurance factor comes into play. And the wheels were losing a lot of separation in them for Raymond. And you could see the more they posed, the more they posed. You could see that Fabian was, in fact, in better condition. In particular, those wheels that you can really see here in the abs and thigh. And we're going to finish off with a classical pose, fittingly enough. And this was the first real comparison that I seen between these two guys. Wasn't this exact pitcher comparison. It was, you know, side by side. And it was mostly focused on the upper body. In which case, yes, Raymond is your winner. Your clear winner, in my opinion. Much better. I do like the vacuum of Fabian. Looks great, looks great. But then when you look at the wheels, it is so dominant. So dominant for for, uh, Fabian. And the pitchers don't really tell the true tale. You watch the video footage. In particular, like I said, when they were working them, you could see the, the wheel separation nowhere near. Nowhere near up to uh, Fabian standards from uh, Raymond. But I'm not going to disrespect any one of these guys by saying, you know, one's the winner, one's the uh, loser. Fabian Mayer, he was first place. And Raymond... He was second place. There's no arguing that. That's what the judges... That's where the judges have them placed. I simply did this comparison because I am a huge fan of this division. And I would like to see where the judges do see their criteria. They focus more on the conditioning. And in this case, I believe that Fabian won due to the conditioning. In particular, those front shots of the wheels. Very noticeable. But still, if they had have given it to Raymond... I would under totally understand that as well. Hit thumbs up on the video if you did enjoy it. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Have a great day, guys.